there's one more important thing that we have to worry about, and that is credibility or trust. How do we know if you're a client and you're talking to somebody, how can we trust the person we're talking to? How do we know that what you all are saying to them is the right thing? That's a tough one. Yeah. That's, that's what you're gonna be working with the most, mm -hmm. is when you're addressing cost, or you're addressing coverage, you guys are gonna be hitting it out of the park because the script is gonna help you and your conversations of building rapport. Like we're already having a nice conversation. I like you guys already. And we've talked for 25 minutes, okay? I'll buy something from you right now. But it's because I trust you, okay? When you're talking to people on the phone, which we'll start this afternoon, you are going to be like, okay, I'm gonna give them this information. I'm gonna help provide resources. I'm gonna do whatever I can. But how do we know that what we're telling them, they are receiving or they are processing because they trust us? How do we do that? Um, Ask questions. Okay, questions. Get them to open up. Yeah, I was going to say okay. build a personal um, relationship. Okay. Build rapport. Huh? Over the f yeah, building. Okay, all this stuff. Rapport, relationship. I mean, we are on the phone. You know, like yeah. think about it. Like you guys get solicitation calls, right? Mm -hmm. Buying stuff. Mm -hmm. Think about this for a second. I'll ask. I'll ask one of y'all. Whoever wants to go first. When you're getting a solicitation call. Okay, it could say spam or it could be a number that pops up and you're, they're trying to sell you something. The majority of the time, and I could be wrong, but the majority of the time you're like, no thank you and you hang up, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. Spam, I don't even answer. If it says spam, you don't even answer, <laughs> right. Can you remember a time where a soli solicitor called and you stayed on the phone with them? No. I Never? No. All right, you don't count. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, okay, so we'll go with you. And they did not get me to buy the product, but she was so sweet and she was so concerned about my household and what I had going on in my household that right. we ended up having like a whole conversation and she emailed me information and everything. Yeah. So she, I mean, her goal got across. She was able to, to finish her pitch. Right, and then, right. Uh -oh. But you stayed and listened. Yeah. Why? Because she was more concerned about what I had going on, and like it, it was, you can tell she wasn't just trying to sell me something. She's, yeah, she serious. was, yeah, she, she was had, sincere. Uh -huh. She was listening to you. She's yeah. asking, like you said, she's asking questions. Yeah, and she's concerned with you know your livelihood, yeah. and she's not trying to push a product. All right, what about you? Which one? What was the call that you stayed on and listened at least? Same thing. Yeah. If if they just seem sincere. Uh, truly trying to help out and mm -hmm. not being a, a, a salesperson. Yeah. That's the main thing I think that every salesperson needs to realize when we're trying to sell something Don't is not come across as a salesperson. Even yeah. though that is our goal, yeah. it, it the is. first priority should be to take care of the client, let, let them vent, let them tell you exactly what's going on, and then you bridge from there. And you listen for some of these indicators that are out there. Then you start you start reeling them in, building the puzzle. I don't know anything about Medicare, but that's my approach. Yeah, no. yeah. Then you start. That's all that matters. I mean, because that, that's the same um, thing that we use during leasing. I'm, yeah. I'm in, I was currently in leasing, so like that's what you do. You add, talk to them, get personal. You know, ask them about their needs and Bring their, their wants. Bring your guard down. Have them feel yeah, comfortable you know, with you. Yeah, instead of just trying to get them to sign a lease to sign an apartment that they not happy with or in a couple months they're going to be coming complain every day about not liking their apartment That's so right. um if you sell if, if yeah. they like you and you you you, you sell yourself to them they're going to buy. Yeah. That's how I've, I've always taken the sales approach in, in anything that I've done. If you come across as likable and not this sleazy vacuum <laughs> car salesman type of person, yeah. are you here to yeah. buy today or, or are you just looking? You know, it's just turn offs. Um, yeah. but they're more likely to, to listen to you and you have a better chance of closing the deal. Yeah, that's, that's good. What's hard for them is that they're older and they have a wealth of experience in mm -hmm. life. And not everybody's gonna trust you, okay? No matter how sincere you sound on the phone. The only thing that we have is our voice in these. And you know, when they're talking to clients and, and people, if you're listening at home for clients, you know, you're gonna hear something right away saying like, okay, I'm here to help, I'm here to do this. But if they're constantly telling you what to do, they're not gonna listen. 
Yeah. You have to ask questions. I like your philosophy mm -hmm. of asking questions. Yeah. How does that work for you? It honestly works really well. It gets people to open up a lot easier. And by asking questions too, like you can relate yourself into those questions and just relate the two of you all together and that's gonna build trust between them. And the asking questions thing and then also like changing your tonality and always using tonality because they'll be able to hear tonality like over the phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, that's so great. Experience. Yeah, one thing I um, I used to be an assistant manager. One thing I used to tell the leasing agents is make sure you smile on the other end of the phone yeah. because regardless on what you think you sound like, people can tell if you have an attitude. People can tell if you don't want to talk. People can tell if you're getting irritated. So yeah. try and be as happy as you can on the other side of the phone if everything is not going the way you want it even. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. That's the, yeah. and Frank, our CSO, he'll always use this line. He's like, the number one rule of being a salesman is don't sell. Yeah. 